The men's 100 freestyle S11. Next behind the starting blocks, Henry Herbst is the favourite in lane four. Canada's Donovan Tilsley goes in lane number two. Well, the Swedes have had a good night. Bronze medal for Mikhail Fredriksson. Improving that medal tally. And there's Jenny Ekstrom in the centre with the dark tracksuit. Everyone seems delighted to get on the big screen here. <laughs> and Jenny Ekstrom enjoying the moment. Next event, of course, is for swimmers in the S11 class. Swimmers who have no vision at all. It is 100 metres freestyle. We always spoke about when we were club swimmers trying to get under that magic one minute mark. As uh, club swimmers, back when we were training our age group swimmers. But these guys with absolutely no vision at all and they're going under the one minute mark. It's very possible that some of them will do that. Henry Herbs, his entry time is 59 point. In lane one, Dmitro Zalewski won the backstroke event a couple of days ago, the Ukrainian swimmer. Donovan Tilsley for Canada, the experienced man. He's been in the team for a number of years now. He's next to the 50 meter champion, Alexander Chekharov. And Henry Herbs, bronze medalist in the 50 freestyle. He looks powerful, doesn't he? He's the favorite for this one. Kimura, Keiichi Kimura from Japan. And there's the cap, the distinctive cap of Sousa of Brazil. Alexander Maschenko goes in lane seven and Taron Drake in lane number eight. He's feeling his way to the end of the block there. Very important that these swimmers get off the block straight. The great John Morgan has held this world record since 1986. It's the longest, the oldest world record on the books. Not sure if it's going to go tonight, but you never know. 56.67. Donovan Tilsley there. Making sure those blacked out goggles, no chance of coming off his cap. And they're off. A good start there by Chekharov, the 50 meter specialist in lane number three. Henry Herbs, the green cap of South Africa, going well in lane number four. And Kamura also going well in lane number five. But up there in lane seven, Maschenko, a good start from the Ukrainian swimmer in seven. Coming to the turn. Henry Herbs is going to be first over. The tappers, the tapping sticks, to let the swimmers know where the turn is. Very important. And Kimura it is over first. Herbs point one of a second down in second, and Maschenko in third. Some slippage on the wall there by one of the competitors and lost a lot of ground. Herbs was the quickest off the blocks, 0.66, and he was quickest to 50 metres. Not so great off the wall, but he's back into the lead now. Kimura's going very well indeed. Kimura's digging in again, and he's back into the lead. Kimura, can he take the gold medal for Japan? It's going to be one metre away from the wall to take the gold. He does. The tapper's doing a great job. That one single stroke inside that final metre, so very important to spot the finish accurately. Kimura, gosh, he got there in the end. It was Herbs, Herbs, Herbs again, and then Kimura, and then Herbs, and Kimura came through in that last 20. Just, There's the dive start. I just wonder what happened at the turn there. We saw a swimmer just slipping off the wall. I wonder if it was Hendrik Herbs because I thought he'd gone into the turn in first position, but he seemed to come out in second. Well, that's the yellow cap of the Ukrainian. In fact, no, it is Henry Turbs, actually, the South African, and I think that's cost him it. The South African there slipping on the wall, and I think that's probably cost him the gold medal. I thought it was the yellow cap under the water, but it wasn't, it was the green of South Africa, and Kimura came out really well. Henry Herbst came back on the Japanese swimmer, gaining the lead, but the Japanese swimmer Kimura was so, so strong in the closing stages and pulled away by about half a body length there. 
very important that the tappers are good. Yeah, good stretch from Kimura. And the combination of that good finish and the bad turn for Henry Herbs means it's gold to Japan, silver to South Africa, and bronze to Souza of Brazil. Donovan Tilsley finishing in seventh position. Definitely uh, the light perception there confused us on the turn. I certainly felt it was a yellow cap as well, Paul. I didn't believe for one moment it was Herbs, but that 